so how do you go about approaching the player and how do you go into his mind and, and loosen him up a little bit? So I'd say number one, like my whole philosophy is the more you love the person, the harder you can coach the player. And when you have more of an introverted person, right? Like you have to try to get to know them. And, and at the end of the day, each person you can find their talking points. Like even an introverted person will open up and get excited to talk about something else. And so what I try to do is, is spend time with them before I overcoach them. Like I always make sure I'm super prepared in my workouts. You know, I'm always available for them so they know I'm kind of invested in their career. And then I try to meet with them off the court and not talk about basketball. Mm -hmm. and, I, and during that, you know, it's like I'll ask them, if your life was a movie, okay, what would the script be? Give me opening, opening scene till the end, you know, and, and I try to like listen to them kind of talk about the different experiences, their family members, things they went through and figure out what are their talking points? What are things that they'll really open up and have a conversation about? Might be music, might be movies, might be video games, might be about their little brother, you know, might be something non-related with basketball. And the whole conversations are not basketball related. And then once I know the talking points, first time I sent, oh, hey, how's your grandma doing? You know, is she doing all right from, you know, she feeling healthier? Oh, hey, how, how's your little brother's game? You know, and, and to begin to get them to open up to let them know that I'm interested in more than them than a basketball player. And then from there, once I've done that, I break down everything that they do. Like I have the honest, I watch every possession of every clip and I can tell you every percentage they shoot in what direction, what the footwork is, what hand, what shot, what location. And I generate all the numbers and I have video with it. And at that point I, I sit down and I go through it with them. And the reality is most players want to be told the truth by people that they know are invested in them and care about them. Mm. And it's about their career. If they feel I'm doing this for my benefit, they're going to shut you out. But once they know you're about them, you care about them, you're asking questions that no one else is asking, you're interested in what's going on in their life and what their trigger talking points are, guys will open up and they'll buy into it if they want to be a good player. Now, you can always find the introverted player that's not really, doesn't really love the game, you know, and for that, it's a, a harder point. But if you got guys that are introverted and love the game, you know, you just have to figure out their talking points. Genu showing genuine interest and, and being genuinely interested in the person. Uh, I find that that's when we talk about networking. I, I hate the word. I, I don't like, I don't hate it, but I, I despise the, the underlying context of the word networking, because to me, it's not about networking. It's about building friendships, building relationships, finding genuine interest in another person's life and having open up. And I'm maybe sometimes too open. So that's also, that was my approach with players as well. I'm just very open about my own life. I told them my weaknesses. I tell them my, my struggles, the demons I'm struggling with right now. Like there's, there's, we're, we're humans, you know, and we have all our issues that we're dealing with, whether it's the player, the coach, the assistant coach, and we, you can't, you can't hide, you know, you can't, you can't put on a front for the, for, for the whole time. At some point it's going to eat you up from the inside and then you're going to have to seek help yourself. So um, I think I found it more Uh, uh, interesting and also just healing for myself to talk about my own my own problems with with the player and just a little bit like an exchange you know so you open it up and they appreciate the same thing they do the yeah, same I, thing I think, i think they respect it you know, yeah i mean it's like right like when you're in this season you spend more time basically with those people than your own family yeah and it's like when when you know you're surrounded with people that are honest and vulnerable and can be open. You know, it's like, like you said, that's where you can really connect. And it's like one thing I always try to do as a head coach, as an assistant coach is like, I'll take ownership for my mistakes. Like in film session, the very first clips are my mistakes. Like 
I drew up a bad play. I, you know what, on the scouting report, we said to do this and he was killing us. You know, it's like, of course we adjusted in the game, but it's like, Hey, we, this was on the scouting report. These are my buckets. You know, this is my fault. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think players appreciate open honesty and when we're vulnerable, you know, exactly what's going on in our personal life and our professional life, we make mistakes too. That's how you build friendships. I mean, that's how you build friendships essentially off the court as well. You're, you're really you're like, you're trying to be approachable person and, 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 you know, like show, show everyone that you're talking to that you actually have, you're not a robot. You actually have certain things that you're dealing with. You're thinking about certain things and that makes uh, the person more interesting as well.